you all sound like kind of pitiful now. The first group that I spoke to this morning, they were all motivated and they gave me a good morning back. So good morning. All right, all right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here at CA. Here at CA Grade Three High School, our mission is always to provide a community support to all students to ensure a safe learning environment and equip all students with strategies for successful transition beyond the junior high level. That's what we're about, that's what we do, and that's what we believe. And I am so glad that you are all here this morning. I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and celebrate the academic, everything, athletic accomplishments of these wonderful students. This is a uh, great group of students to work with, and we're going to see some of the great things that they have achieved this school year. At this time, Ms. Dawson, if you don't mind making your way to the podium. Good morning. Good morning. We are not going to prolong the time. We're going to get this show on the road. We have a lot of names to call, and that's exciting with itself. So, if you will, give our students a round of applause. In actuality, we would like to see this whole side of the gym filled with students. So, that's all. A strategy that we're going to talk for our students here at CA Gray. But none of that would be possible without you, the parents, grandparents, guardians, aunts, uncles. It takes a village to raise a child, right? So we know that we also want to be a part of a lot of extracurricular activities, things that take place outside of the classroom, but that also comes with getting up early to study if you went home to the bath, got straight into bed, staying late, coming up with all to go in teachers' classrooms, to get that extra tutoring, things of that nature, and you guys make that happen. So you guys, students, give your parents a round of applause. All right, we're going to start our first category with special awards. And this award is going to start off, we're going to start with the Reading Bowl competition. Students, as we call your name, if you will come around this way, and in front of the podium. Reading Bowl Tom Con competition. First place for poetry was Kirsten Hobbs. While she's Coming up, we're going to say first place for infographics goes to Maggie Bishop. Tom Testing High Score goes to Jalen Finley. Most improved goes to Joshua Spear. Second place, theme essay goes to Lilla Kraft. Third place, book print video is awarded to Carmen Lemon. And another Tom Testing High Score goes to Ada Lawson. Let's give them all the round of applause. And thank you to Mrs. Melanie Turner for working with this group this year. You may be Perfect attendance. 
no special order we're going to call these names. Perfect attendance would be... Ironic, the bell rings. That means they're on time every day. Brooklyn James.
With everything that our students have to go through to see our students confess and still have that love for Jesus Christ is an amazing thing as a teenager because a lot of times it's easily to share some of the things that you do with families on Sunday mornings and things like that. But Mrs. Um, I forgot your name. Miss Hardy. <laughs> She does a great job with our club members here at CA Gray. And the outstanding person this year is Ariel Nobles. Congratulations. Another one of the clubs that speak volumes for what our um, atmosphere stands for here in rural South Georgia would be members of our 4-H club. And an outstanding member this year is Michaela Allen. Give her another applause. Thank you, Mr. Host Club. I'm sorry, Mad Club. I'm sorry, Ms. Blair. I got glasses and I'm still not looking at the right part of it. I'm getting used to them. All right, Mad Club. Uh, Mad Club is uh, my sponsor is Mrs. Erica Player, and the most outstanding Mad Club member this year is Laura Bryan. Let's give another pause. Host the club. Now I'm not sure about you, but if these students continue to work under Ms. Daphne Dale and Ms. Kern, and I know some of them are transitioning to the high school, we won't feel so bad when we see them walk in our room. But you know, some of you former students, when they walk in, you immediately ask for somebody else. But we don't have to worry about that with our host of students here. So we hope they continue to, to uh, stay on the path of health care because we are going to need you. All right? And then our standing member for HOSA is Anthony Giles. Just give another applause. <laughs> Newspaper Club. Some people may think that it's kind of funny that a school has a newspaper club, but do you know how much these students report on social media? A lot. Whether it's true, if it's, I, I just, they just blow me away. Sometimes when you get a new phone, you just need to walk up to them and ask them to teach you how to give you a quick course on how to run it. But uh, it's always to be able to put your hand on something in print and be able to read it. Uh, Newspaper Club is uh, advised by Mr. Scott Turner and the recipient this year is Caleb Joyner. because they are always around the cameras um, and they are filming everything. If you came to the talent show, you saw them at the talent show. If you came to the body banquet, you see them around. They're always capturing the latest things that are happening here on campus. The recipient for Skills USA Club is Ethan Filiar.
congratulations giving me. Gentlemen's Club. Mr. Josh Sims is one of our advisors for our Gentlemen's Club, and this first award goes to someone for leadership qualifications. And that young man is Keyshawn Palmore. Okay, Keyshawn is not in here at the moment. The outstanding member from the Gentlemen's Club is Demorian Williams. Let's give him another pause. Future Forums of America. We're going to start with our eighth grade. And our advisors for the Future Farmers of America is Mrs. Blaze Bridges and Mr. James Hunter, and they kind of split. Mr. Hunter is standing in front of you, Mr. Hunter mainly has 8th grade, and Ms. Bridges has ninth grade. So Future Farmers of America 8th grade recipient would be Laurie Jo Burt. Give her a hand. Our ninth grade future performance of America goes to Daniel Dorrance. Thank you, Davis. Give her a hand. Mrs. Robinson at the beginning of the year. So she now has, what is, what do you say, Pelham Park of three? <laughs> um, Science Club recipient goes to Paul Wood. Congratulations, Paul. Our yearbook staff. We have a lot of awesome persons that was part of the yearbook staff this year. Ms. Candy Clements was one of them. Ms. Goo also pitched in, and I know I'm probably forgetting a couple of other names, but our yearbook looks good. Do we have any yearbooks left to say? Okay, look right over there to your right. If you would like to purchase a yearbook before you leave, just in case you forgot and your child didn't give you the slip, yearbooks are on sale for how much? $35. Sorry we don't have cash out, but we can make arrangements. All right, our yearbook, our yearbook recipient goes to Thelma Lacona. Give her another round. Technology Club. Mr. Pixon. Mr. Ruiz, if you don't mind presenting this. Mr. Robbie Pitts is the advisor, and if you haven't met Mr. Pitts, the energy that he has alone, he is technology all bubbled up in one. Technology Club recipient is, will be Daniel Durrance.
him another hand. FCCLA. Our club advisors are Ms. Pam Coomer, Ms. Natalie Bishop, Ms. Jill Grantham. So standing in front of you, we have two of them, Ms. Cooper and Ms. Bishop. Our FCCLA Outstanding Club member for eighth grade will be Piper Smith. Our Outstanding Club member for ninth grade will be Anna Power. Let's give them both a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies Club, it is always a great task to always teach our men to be men in the gentlemen club and teach our ladies to be ladies in our ladies club. And our advisor this year was Miss Courtney Allman. And her outstanding participant from the ladies club will be Naraya Rivers. Let's give her another applause. Anime Club. Mrs. Jennifer Yates is our advisor. An outstanding participant in this club would be Aurora Jones. Let's give her another hand. <laughs> Partnership for Success Club. Mrs. Ashley Taylor is the advisor. And Ms. Taylor works hard to make sure that everyone shows, not just speak about the total inclusiveness of everybody that is located on this campus as one, as a unity. And the Partnership for Success Club Award goes to Angel Sifuente. Now while Angel is coming, I will just tell you that this is Angel every day. Angel has jobs and tasks that he does around the school. He shows up every day on time. Whether you're in your correct spot or not, Angel is right there waiting on you, and he will get someone to radio you. <laughs> so give Angel another applause. <laughs> FBLA Club. We have two advisors, Mrs. Cassandra Mosley and Ms. Sharon Chambers. And Ms. Nobles is going to step in for them today. FBLA Club Outstanding Member goes to Lily Green. Congratulations, Lily. Spanish Club. Mrs. Mel, oh, there she is. Miss Posey, she's going to present. She's one of the advisors, and our Spanish department has done some great things this year. I think this is the first year they've actually taught Spanish one, Spanish two, and Spanish three. Some of that. So they split it up, and they've been kind of, I don't know how they do it, but um, they've been teaching me a little Spanish, and I, I think I have to learn a little bit more next year. So even when I say something wrong, they just giggle and they just tell me what to say. <laughs> okay, so our um, a senior award for Spanish 
12 is, goes to Matthew Rickstraw. Congratulations, Matthew. Moving right along, we are moving into our class awards. And these are what we call our content area superlatives. All right, we're going to start with math. Our math department chairs for eighth grade are Kayla Jordan and ninth grade Erica Player. For eighth grade math, Fu Fang. And Christopher Crichton. And if you guys will just stay right there until we get the rest of the math students up here. For Algebra 1, Macy DeMott. For Honors Algebra 1, Eliza Johnson. Felicia Richardson. They love their teachers. We're going to start with eighth grade language arts. Marshall McCraney. Kyra Kinsey. And Holland Jarvis. For ninth grade language arts, David Glenn. Eric Garcia. And Abigail Fonseca. Let's see. Oh, an accelerated lit literature and composition goes to Macy DeMott. <laughs> Let's give all our language arts to bring to the hand. You may be seated. Now we're going to our science superlatives. Our eighth grade 
grade science department chair is Ms. Otessa Pellum, and ninth grade is Mrs. Um, Lee Halsey. All right, for eighth grade science, our superlatives are Frank Waters. Christopher Quiden. And Caleb Murphy. For honors physical science, we have Caleb Smith. For ninth grade biology, we have Mallory Trull. And Tucker Brown. Let's give all of our science superlatives a hand. For social studies, eighth grade department chair is Brandy Nolan, and ninth grade world history is Erin Eubanks. We'll start with eighth grade Georgia studies. Superlatives are Ivy Hernandez Ramirez. Garcia. For ninth grade world history, Andrew Reeves. Mallory True. and Ava McCraney. For AP World History, Lilla Kraft, Kirsten Hobbs, Jacob Eichhardt, Kaysen Miller, Ellie Perriman, and Lily Wren. Let's give all of our history superlatives a hand. And now we go back to Spanish. Remember just a little earlier, I told you we had Spanish 1, Spanish 2, and Spanish 3. Our Spanish one superlative is going to be Gabriel Bajaramos. Our Spanish two superlatives are Matthew Rickstrom and Allison Taylor. Lily Wren.
Let's give all our Spanish approaches a round of applause. Thank you. For Latin, Ms. Turner is going to present this because Ms. Baker is at high school. Okay, in Latin, Mr. Baker will also have some more awards that he will award himself. All right, superlatives of Luis Corona. And Wendy Velasquez. Let's give our Latin superlatives a hand. For Esau, superlatives are going to be awarded by Mrs. Amanda Groby. Can you imagine going on a trip in a foreign country and you having to adapt? Well, what about moving to a whole other country and you have to adapt? And they are managing it very well. The Esau Superlative Food Fund. <laughs> and Alejandro Ortega. We're moving into our next category of our elective superlatives. Our first one is going to be awarded by Department Chair of Health and Physical Education, Ms. Tiffany Young. For health, we have Lily Fikes. And Edmund Gabriel. For physical education, we have Latorsha Hardy. Brianna Caldwell. Mark Bricklove. And Taylor Bryce. Thank you, Lexi. We're moving into our visual arts one superlatives. It's going to be presented by our arts teacher, Mrs. Candy Clements. For visual arts one, we have Alexandra Lorenzo Alonso. And Alicia Gonzalez. For drawing and painting one, we have Thelma Lacona.
Let's give them all a round. Thank you, Lady C.D. For choir, Mrs. Horn is not here, so our band director, Mr. Thompson, is going to step in for her. Our choir superlatives are Avery Kilmore, and Soraya Kennedy. Let's give them a hand. For band, we have Jorge Fierros. And Gage Edmondson. Let's give them both a hand. For agriculture is up next. Our superlatives are Christy D'Erso. And Leanne Gay. Let's give them both hands. For journalism. Mr. Turner wants to meet. We have Ruth Lombrada. And Macy DeMont. Thank you, lady. For drama, we have Alisa Bath. Right here. Occupational safety. The one and only Mr. Kevin Gibb. The superlative for occupational safety is Noah Carroll. Give him another applause. <laughs> For health care science, Brianna Tran. Give him a hand. Thank you, ladies. ROTC, we have Colonel Paul Naji.
The superlative for ROTC goes to Thelma Lacona. For early childhood education, it's going to be presented by Mr. Ruiz, Ms. Grant McDowell at the moment. This award goes to Lady Weeks. Give her another call. Video broadcasting. Mr. Ruiz, and you can see his students in here are oh, uh, recording the um, honors program. The video broadcasting award goes to Ethan Filio. As he comes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ethan, Ethan is truly a gentle giant behind the camera. He really is. Thank you. Family and Consumer Science will be awarded by Mrs. Pam Cooper. The superlative for this award goes to Holland Jarvis. Give her another one. Food, nutrition, and wellness will be presented by Mrs. Bishop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't go in for taking as much as I could because I was trying to watch my figure. But Miss Bishop, they did some cooking down there this year. I mean, so if your kid's grocery list went up at Walmart, it's her fault. Because she taught them to get the little simplest things and make such delicious treats. So the superlative for food, nutrition, and wellness goes to Rebecca Perez. Give her another hand. Introduction to business and technology. Mrs. Come on, you, Ms. Chambers is going to present. There are two of them. And if you haven't had a chance to talk to Ms. Chambers, you may want to because she's from Jamaica. Okay, so the introduction to business and technology, the superlative goes to Lily Green. <laughs> introduction to digital technology, oh, give her another hand, sorry. <laughs> introduction to digital technology, is awarded to Joshua E. Massey. <laughs> Let's give him another call. Okay, business and consumer science. Okay. All right, business and computer and computer science approach goes to Courtney Gilbert. Engineering and technology. 
apology goes to David Cruz. Okay, all right, thank you. That concludes for that department. And now we have a principal's award. This is a special award that memorizes one of our falling students here, and this award is entitled Quentin Grimsley Citizenship Award. And the recipient of this award is Armalo Ocampo. Let's give him another hand. Okay. Now here's the thing that the students have been wanting to know about. Announced in no particular order. Let's say that again. Announced in no particular order. I will call the names of the eighth grade students that have the highest GPAs. Y'all ready? Gabriel Baharas. Matthew Frankstrom. Caleb Murphy. Christopher Stagall. Eric Garcia. Alana Campbell. David Glenn. Mimi Lau. Ruth Lombrada. Jonah Hagen. And Louise Corona. These are all eighth grade students with the highest GPAs. Let's give them all a hand. Thank you. Now we will call our ninth grade highest GPA in no particular order. Case Gregory. <laughs> Lynn Gay. Maggie Bishop. Macy Kite. Ariel Dudding.
will have our Kate Jeter Leadership Awards. Our salutatorian for CA Gray goes to Lily Green. Our valedictorian for CA Gray goes to Abel McCrane. Let's give these ladies a thunderous applause. As this concludes our awards honors day here at CA Gray, yes, we did call some names, but remember, our goal is to have this whole side filled up. We're gonna get there. We keep moving over to one extra side every year, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Smith. Thank you, Ms. Dawson, outstanding. Give Ms. Dawson a big round of applause too as well. You know, I always get the, uh, the nod to say, you know, Dr. Smith, you, you're doing a great job at CA Gray. I appreciate your leadership. But at the end of the day, it can never be done unless you have a great team around you. So it's, it's, it's never me, it's always my team. And Ms. Dawson, the future Dr. Mobley, Ms. Ms. Veezy, please stand real quick. Let's give them a big round of applause. And on top of my wonderful educators, stand up. You give them a big round of applause too as well. Stand up, educators. Thank you. And I'm going to tell you, Miss Tucker, stand up. Miss Tucker keeps me straight. Keeps me, keeps me in line. She makes sure I don't spend too much money. All those good things. I appreciate all that you do, no matter what. And I've got some good academic coaches over there, too, as well. You all stand up real quick, academic coaches. All right, Ms. Good and Ms. Jackson. <laughs> Verbal counselors, my counselors. There you go. There's one right there, Ms. Heidelberger. Ms. Nobles. Ms. Hart. Just like it takes a village in the community, it takes a doggone village in the school. All right, so you gotta have a lot of great people always around you no matter what, making sure things get done. I wanna recognize real quick before I give my message to the students, I would love to recognize first, Mr. Howell, stand up Mr. Howell. He hates this kind of stuff, I'm more embarrassed. Also, Dr. Brad Gregory, he just shook his head to me as well, come on. Go stand up real quick. And she's always at every one of my events, no matter what. Miss Trudy Hill, wave your hands over like see you. Outstanding, 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 outstanding. Did I miss anybody who is on board? I was trying to scan real quick earlier. Matter of fact, I got some school administrators. Won't you stand up real quick too? Come on, just show your love. Gotta show our love to all our school administrators. All right, good deal, good deal, good deal. I didn't embarrass you, so you don't have to worry about that. But I do have to give, last but not least, a little quick message to my students. Now this is actually the same message I gave last year. Um, I thought it would be just as, as good this year because of the fact that these are seven things that I think that will help you to be successful. And I, I actually received this from my son last year, and it was posed, uh, these questions were developed, or these actions were developed, from a question that was posed by from a question that was posed to a person that had done exceptionally well in life by a fifth grader. A fifth grader asked this gentleman and said, hey look, what would you say would be the most successful actions that if you had to start all over from the, from the beginning and you could do it now, what would you do? What would you do all over again? And these were the seven things. 
The first one was to be curious and research. Be curious and research. That's a big deal. That means that when someone tells you that something's fake or someone tells you that this is true, you need to be smart enough to always check just to see because you never know. It may be what they said may not be altogether true. At the same time, just because someone says something over and over again does not make it true or does not make it a fact. So be curious in research. Number two, don't be a one-dimensional thinker. Don't be a one-dimensional person. Be somebody who says that, you know what, I'm going to be someone that will do something a little bit different. I'm going to cross a different plane. If you're, if you're good at athletics, hey, focus on academics. If you're not good at in, uh, in athletics and you're good at academics, try to get on that side. If you hate public speaking, put yourself out there. Don't be a one-dimensional person. Be someone who transcends. And you are, you are all here because you are doing great things. And, and let, me, let me add that to this too, parents. Uh, we've got about 1,367 students here at this school. Almost 1,400 students. And of those 1,400, this is the best of the best. The best of the best. And I, and I say that because of this. Ms. Heidelberg, she gave me some, uh, some uh, it was actually, I was signing the, uh, the honor things this morning to, to sign for the certificate to give to the students. And uh, she mentioned a conversation that she had with a parent that said, I did not receive a letter about the Honors Day program. And I, and I looked at, at Ms. And Ms. And Ms. And Ms. How, how, how and I said, and I smiled. And I said, I said, you, what'd you tell her? She said, I told her that she wasn't supposed to get one. She wasn't supposed to get one. So if you're sitting here as a parent, or a guardian, or a grandparent, however it may be, you're sitting here because your student has, ex has excelled. It's not for everybody. When you're a little kid, you get all kind of awards. But as you get older, and as you become more proficient at what you do, the crowd gets small. It is what it is. Number three, think critically. One thing that you always hear, and I heard from my, when I was in school myself, that they say always think outside of the box. Well, you think outside of the box not to get in the box, but to look at the platform that's surrounded outside of it. All right? There's, there's a whole lot more space outside of that box, so you've got to be a critical thinker. Be someone that says, hey, you know what? I'm just not going to take what you say. I'm going to think about it deeply no matter what. And one thing I tell you this too, we live in a world that's filled with so many uh, ways of technology and this and that. But you gotta remember, smartphones were created by human beings. They were created by human beings. So we're smarter than the cell phone, all right? So don't just always rely on that. Number four, pick the right friends. In life, I'll tell you this because I know it for a fact, in life you're only gonna have about one or two best friends. My best friend's always been my wife, and I love that. And for you all, you will find out that you right now, you have so many associates, but at the end of the day, you're only gonna have one or two best friends in your life. So all these people sit beside you. They may be your friend right now, but when you go to college, join the military, do whatever it may be, get in your professional life, these people will be people that you remember. They won't be your best friend. Okay? So you got to learn that now. But one thing that's important, you want to make sure that you surround yourself with people who can support you and not degrade you and demean you. You want people that's always on your team. All right? So pick the right friends. Number five, operate fast in the micro. That means your day to day. All right? Operate fast in the micro and make sure that you're always patient in the macro. That means this. Like me, I get up every morning, shave, brush my teeth, shave, brush my teeth, put on my workout clothes, I do my thing, I turn around and back around, I make my bed, I cook breakfast. Those are quick things, micro things. I do them literally all without thinking, all right? But when I come to my place of business, when I come to my place of work, I always try to make sure that I put a great bit of thought in what I do. And that's the same thing for you. You want to do things that are trivial, do them quick, do them fast. 
don't, don't mess around. But for the things that you want to invest in, like your education, your relationship with your family, you be patient and look for the greatness in it as you invest yourself into it, okay? All right, number six, always stay uncomfortable, all right? Just because you don't like it right now does not mean that you won't like it then. One thing that I, I, I literally have hated for years is public speaking. I don't like it. It makes me nervous. But you know what? I know the only way I can work with people like you, young people, is that I've got to do this. So I don't mind being uncomfortable because at the end of the day, I'm going to be comfortable and I'm going to get better at it. All right? And that's the same thing for you. Always put yourself out there for good stuff and be uncomfortable. And the last one is be present. This is a big one, and I mean this in, in, the, in all sense of the word. Like, for example, as students, you are here seven and a half hours a day, but do you really work seven and a half hours of a day? Do you? Answer me. Yes or no? No. All right? Honestly, when you sit there and you think about it, you put, you actually have, what, seven class changes in the five minutes of time, you've got 25 minutes of lunch, probably waste another 10 minutes per class period just doing this or that, if not more. And in actuality, you probably only have about five hours of real time that you can put toward your investment in your education. Five hours. Seven and a half hours, no, five hours a day. Now that's, that says something. That, and also, too, there's research out there says even for people like me. I may be here eight hours, but really, three hours of my day might be toward really getting things done. All right? So you got to think like that. You got to say, you know what? I want to be present for that seven and a half hours to get as much done as I can toward developing my future. That is powerful. Be present. Don't be a person that's just dragging along. Make sure you're involved and engaged and taking time to invest in your time. Because what you have now is time. What you have now is time. All right? So, with that said, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. I appreciate you. Now you can go and get some wonderful pictures from kids and love on them. And thank you for our Honest Day program.